Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lust of the flesh opposes spiritual warfare. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Second lesson, Romans chapter 8, verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh golden text colossians chapter 2 verse 20 wherefore if ye be dead with christ from the rudiments of the world why as though living in the world are ye subject to ordinances quote Brethren, that is the revelation of our lesson. If you look around, you will discover that every person is under the teachings of the flesh. Any, jo any doctrine that does not come from God is of the flesh. Any law that is not a law of the spirit is that of the flesh. If a visioner directs you, to go and sacrifice to the gods of the water. If you carry out such a vision, you have erred. If somebody preaches to you that you should go and spend whatever money you have to the mermaid or to an evil spirit, if you do that, you have erred. If in your family, all members decided to contribute money to consult necromancers, necromancers, native doctors, and sorcerers. If you do not contribute, you are not a member of their family. But if you contribute along with them, you have erred. When you call witch or wizard, if you are annoyed when you are called witch or wizard if you are annoyed then you are in the flesh the word of god tells us we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh we are now living a life unto our lord jesus christ it is our lord jesus christ who is living not ourselves again. Therefore, in Christ, there is no witchcraft, no Jew, Jew, mermaid, or charms. It is only our Lord Jesus Christ who is in everything. Therefore, anybody who wants to lead his life to please the flesh, such a person is in the world and is not a child of God. The laws of God are are at variance with the customs of man brethren what brings destruction to the whole world is the fact that it yields to the advice of human beings if you are told about the shrine of your forefathers they will also tell you of the person who brought it and the time it was brought into the family they will tell you the history of that person and assure you that the shrine is the bona fide property of the family. But if you yield to the advice that they may give you, you have erred. Even the place that you live at the moment, somebody can tell you, that formerly nobody lived there and that you migrated into the place from somewhere which is a proof that we are all strangers in this world all the secret societies 
that are introduced into the world if you are initiated into such secret societies and abide by the laws of those societies it means that you are in the flesh and not in the spirit we are the children of God and we ought to worship God alone we should not worry ourselves about anything at all we should not receive any piece of advice that comes from any man it is the instruction that comes from God that we ought to receive the whole world is in trouble because they receive instructions that come from man they behave according to the dictates of man and by so doing they become miserable the hypocrisy of man brethren i brethren i do not think that there is wisdom in somebody having claimed to deny the world yet goes back to receive pieces of advice from the people of the world. There is no difference between the man and the person who has already died. At certain times, you behave according to the dictates of your people by strict compliance with native law and customs of your people to give bright price. I can tell you that the customs of your place are quite different from the way your people behave. These are the instructions of men and if you keep them, you are wrong. Our Lord Jesus Christ had said that the children of the new kingdom do not marry nor are given in marriage because they are like angels being the children of the resurrection. He said that the people of the world marry and are given in marriage because they are the children of the world and they adhere to the instructions of their fathers. Those who are counted worthy to inherit this new kingdom neither marry nor are given in marriage. Adam paid no dowry for Eve. Brethren, if you trace the origin of man, you will discover that Adam and Eve were created by God and kept there. Right now the question is, who married the other? Is it Adam who married Eve or Eve who married Adam? What marital right did Adam fulfill on behalf of Eve before, before one was married to the other? If this system of marriage nowadays did not exist during the time of Adam and Eve, how come the idea of bride price? Brethren, it is this work of darkness that we have come to destroy. My first assignment on the earth plane is to uproot all those things that were not planted by God. Brethren, do you not realize that this new kingdom is not about eating and drinking? It is about acting in accordance with the, with the doctrines of God. God gave us everything out of love and grace. But now, people begin to fix prices for certain things. All the heavy burden that we are now bearing emanate from man-made wisdom. At the moment, observe the behavior of the girls and boys around the world. Before a boy appro approaches a girl for marriage, the girl will ask him to pay the bride price before she agrees to be married to him. This induces majority of boys to commit many atrocities in order to afford the money to marry the wives. Therefore, brethren, do you not see that all the problems that come your way are caused by you? Whosoever receives a bride price carries a burden on his, on, on his or her head. A woman and a man are free 
to remain together as God constituted, but from the moment you adhere to the dictates of man by paying the bright price, you are forsaken by God. You can observe that if a man pays no bright price on a woman while they both live together, there is the fear of God between both of them. The worldly people introduce their own craftiness. If you marry a girl according to the constitution of God and she fails to conceive, your family, your family members would allege that the cause was her great grandmother to whom you did not give sacrifice. It is saddening for anyone who professes the fate of brotherhood of the cross and star to indulge in such sacrifices. The children of brotherhood of the cross and star in this new kingdom still have a very long way to go. It is common that the parents of a sister in the fold of brotherhood of the cross and star demand bright price from the brother of the same fold on grounds that the mother of the sister was married according to their custom. The yoke and burden that your fathers could not carry, our Lord Jesus Christ came and removed them. These are the very burdens and yokes that you are now carrying. How will you be the true child of the soil? when these burdens are still on your head at the moment how free are you when all the marriage rights are on your head you can never be free whenever a woman opts for freedom the husband will obstruct her for the mere reason that a bright price was offered and paid on her behalf should the wife resist and leave him for her parents, the husband, out of annoyance, would visit the in-laws as well as the wife with beating because the wife was sold into slavery. What is the cost and value of this burden you take upon yourself? Call it by price, but how much is it that a woman is subjected to the cruelty of a man owing to all the burdens that you carry you are not counted as a child of god do you believe that you are still a child of the soil all the things god knows are but for his children are what he has come to destroy god is love Brethren, love is the foundation of the existence of Adam and Eve because God is love. That was the reason why when Christ surrendered his ministry to Peter, he asked, Do you love me than all these? Peter replied, Lord, you know that I love you. What is made up of this new kingdom apart from love? Love existed before the foundation of the world. You have heard that God is love. The Son of God is love. The Holy Spirit is love. What we use as implement of work in this new kingdom is love. If you demand anything before offering any good service to somebody, that is the old law. If you ask me, do you love me? And I answer, yes, I love you. That is all. That is all final. Have you observed the punishment, tribulations, and suffering that men and women are receiving? It is because they are behaving in accordance with the dictates of man. You will all see what I will bring at the close of the age you will never pay any bright price 
before a woman is given in marriage because love is the bride price. How long ago did, did law come into existence? It is just a few hundred years ago. Otherwise, in time gone by, we all were in time of grace. When there is no love, success can never come by. A spiritual son says that the old covenant, which was the covenant of Moses, had gone. And that love is the new covenant. You sing this song, but you do not believe in it. Love does not offend its neighbor, for love is the fulfillment of the law. Once you have love, you have got all things because you will never offend one another. If a man has love for a woman and that woman reciprocates, same to the man, two of them become one. And whatever the man possesses is for the woman, and whatever the woman possesses is for the man, and they will have no trouble. The family of the man and the family of the woman will unite and manifest this love. Is there any wisdom when a child of God and another child? Is there any wisdom? When a child of God and another child of God perform marital rites before they are allowed to stay together, are the children your own? The children are free to marry each other in the absence of money because the covenant that stands now is love. The covenant of God is the dictates of God. Any person who practices love is the child of God. When you are advised to desire love, you refuse and go in search of money. Money does not bring any glory in this new kingdom except love. Nothing will qualify you as a child of God except you have love. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, 1 John chapter 5 verse 19. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Brethren, have you heard that lesson? read out to you we know that we are the children of God but the whole world lies in the hands of the evil one who is that wicked person it is the dictates of the flesh if you laugh tradition will be against it in that it may be alleged that you laughed before the elders and you will be fined with say a bottle of gin. At the time of the death of your father, a case would come up against you that you did not mourn the death of your father and as such you have violated the custom and so you should give the family a bottle of gin. The tradition and custom may have it that you should pay the sum of 100 naira as you did not perform the memorial service of your grandfather. Otherwise, according to the right, your children will die. With this in mind, you go borrowing as you have no money with you. At the moment, if you receive the sad news of death, you are frightened because of lack of money to perform the rites that the tradition and custom demand. If this includes the responsibility you have to shoulder over the death of a single person, the destroying of the economic trees of the deceased, the amount of money involved in the funeral and memorial services, keeping of mourning house, 
and such like performances demands as a right. This right plunges so many people into debt after the death of their parents or grandparents. Most of these debtors die with the debts. Burial rites are not of God. Brethren, did our Lord Jesus Christ not say to that young man, let the dead bury the dead, but you should go and preach the glory of God? Do you ever ponder in your hearts if all these rites observed at the death of a person are, in, are instituted by God? After all, God created man and he also kills man. What is the dilemma in that? He seeks no man's advice. Has God no right to build and to demolish a house he has built? Man is a gluttonous being. He wants to eat at all times. You are witnesses that before a corpse of any person is buried, the people will see to it that all the so-called marital rites are performed. It goes from one stage to another so that the family is rendered Cobalist. After performing all these rites, the elders, the family, the village, and the person's age group will demand one thing or the other. In the case of a chief, the family, the village, the town, and group will contribute money to bury him. They consult all the soothsayers and native doctors before his burial, which is coupled with other atrocities there will be traditional dances before and after the chief's funeral may i ask to know who advises you to indulge in all these treacherous acts and yet you claim to be the children of god i have told you that the first thing that god advised me to stop was the burial rite which brings about all sorts of sins in the world. God is God of the living and not of the dead. When one lives, he lives unto God. And when he dies, he dies unto God. What is your problem? After all, are all the money spent in burying the dead and all the performances and sumptuous feeding and drinking for the benefit of the corpse designed by God it is time that you consider that all these practices yield no dividend rather if any person hates you he would seize this opportunity to, he would seize this opportunity to undo you during the period of the traditional rites of a deceased. Your sorrow, your affliction and suffering starts from then. Brother with the cross and star has come to remove that every burden that your forefathers could not carry and which you are struggling to bear. Do you not know that naked you come and naked you will return? During the Nigeria Civil War, what did you do for a great number of people who died? A millionaire, a poor man, a doctor, a lawyer, a chief, and even a beggar were all buried in one grave. Will all the dead not resurrect during the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? Man contrives all these rites and ceremonies because man is all the time looking for what to eat. And that is the wisdom of man. In the fold of brotherhood of the cross and star, 
there are no such things because we know that the Father gives and that the Father takes away. The horses who do not know God pay no regard to funeral rites. They have got one coffin to bury every corpse irrespective of the rank of the deceased. The horses keep a coffin so that when anybody dies, the corpse is carried to the grave in it and when the corpse is emptied into the grave, the coffin is returned. Why do people place importance on the corpse? It is of a human being. It is not a human being any longer, but a substitute of all the meat one ate throughout one's lifetime. The owner of the house in the cups had gone out. I find no wisdom in somebody observing these things. You observe a death and burial of the deceased because they are not God's constitution. Children of God have no problem at all as regards these observances for the dead. It is said that the dead should bury the dead, but you should go and preach the glory of God. No time out for God's work. Brethren, King Herod directed that the head of John the Baptist be brought to him. When the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ reported it to him, he carried on with his ministry and went to Galilee to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God. He went thus because he knew that the sick were waiting for him and when he arrived, the father's work continued. Do you know that the time spent in mourning house could be used for something beneficial? Or do you know the limited time allotted to you the day you were in a mourning house? Know that each of us has got an allotted time for each day, for each week, each month, and each year. That as soon as your time elapses, you have to leave the earth plane. This is in agreement with the precepts of the Almighty God alone. And there is no amount of gluttony that will retain you from your work. And there is no amount of gluttony that will retain you when your work is over. You may gain the praise of men by burying your father and mother according to the tradition and rites. But you will not be recommended to God because such deeds do not go into God's record. This is a proof that what is liked by man is never approved by God. This is why Brother of the Cross and Star has got no connection with any right for the dead. I have come specifically for that burden that your fathers could not bear, yet you struggle to bear them. Whenever a person sleeps in the Lord, the fold of brother of the cross and star buys a coffin and buries the cops, observing no ceremony or right. The money you often spend on funerals could be spent on the orphans, on the destitutes, and the disabled you often spend on mourning uniform of what use are the uniforms i am telling you with tears that these are of no use to man or to god 
are to be corpse. Read this second lesson again.